welcome to Permadeath Extraordinaire, where we're continuing our journey through RimWorld. I'm testing different time slots and different times of the day to see what the popular times are, so the broadcast won't be entirely long today, about an hour or so. And uh, we are continuing an ongoing story. Do keep in mind, if you miss any of my transmissions, you can always catch them in the archive for the next couple of days, and then after that they will be archived to YouTube under the same name, Permadeath Extraordinaire. In any event, so... Let's get rolling. Stop. Let's show the mods. These are the mods that we're working with. I'll just leave that up for a minute. I won't go into uh, specific details of what each mod does, but uh, suffice it to say that they're fun. And we'll see more from them as we get further into the game, if that ever happens, because, well, I'm terrible at this game. So, without any further ado, let's load up Banthos and get going. The name Banthos comes from a tabletop game. My brother was less than enthusiastic to play a particular character, so he gave it that name, and that's the long story behind the name Banthos. The two brothers, Colin and Banthos. Makes perfect sense. Both wizards. Yes, it was d, &D. Anyway, so here we are. Loading up. The scenario is Lost Squad, which is a squad of soldiers were on their way to a distant battlefield. They got off course and have ended up on a rim world several thousand years later by accident. Oops. So, now they're going to survive. The clone soldiers are uh, very good at being soldiers. They're not particularly good at anything else. Uh, they're good at mining, and they can do a little bit of crafting and that kind of stuff, you know, field improvisation. And uh, they're led by their two officers. Medic and officer, sorry. Okay, so, here we are. Where are we? Let me pause this for a second and remember what we're doing. Okay, we've got geothermal vent, heating this area, somewhat heating this area. Alright. Wait a minute, this feels... Didn't I clear this hallway of rubble? I thought I did. Did I load an early save by accident? I thought for sure I saved it as Banthos. Hold on a sec. Let's try this. Let's load up our latest auto save. 1230, 1220, 1259. No, we saved it as Rambo Goons. I think. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, that adds to the fun of the show. I'm just dumb. But that definitely felt like an older save, because I remember taking that rubble out of that hallway, and I remember setting up a, a few other things. By the way, I'm not sure Twitch works, so if you're trying to chat or say hi or anything and I don't respond, it's because I don't... I don't trust Twitch. I'm not sure I'm getting chats. Nor is it showing me number of viewers. I think I may have to update it or something along those lines. And my computer is running on a, l a very limited amount of memory because partitions full, yada yada. Okay, this looks more like it. Yeah, because we had done that, we had cleared out this, we had finished off some bedrooms here, which is grand. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put the wood floors into here, and a door, of course. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should take care of the squad and parsnip. And our storage area is getting very, very small. We're going to have to change that around. Now, I was thinking about turning this into a tree farm. Will trees grow when there's a roof? We're going to find out. How 
many squares above that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. It was here. Oh, symmetry. Officially, these should be here. I'm not sure I got the symmetry there at all. It sure doesn't look like it, does it? Definitely doesn't look like it. Uh, how many is that? 13. I bet it's supposed to be 14. I wish there was a cancel button. I bet there is, and I'm just too derpy to know what it is. Does that look a little better? Eh, close enough. Should probably put roof supports, you think? That should hold the roof up, right? I'm thinking. That's probably too much. And symmetry. No such thing. Screw it, good enough. Okay, we're gonna need a bunch of wood to do that. Especially because I wanna put in some more floors. Of floors. This is going to be a prison room, so I'm not too worried about the floor there. Mm, we need a door structure, door, wood for now will do. <sighs> Alright, I feel bad. We can always tear this floor out later and it'll look good so that people will be a little bit happier with it. Okay, they do like having a chair to sit at. We've got a chess table. Somewhere out here there's horseshoes. Yeah, here they are. Blood everywhere. That is a mess. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to temporarily assign this as a home area so they'll clean up that nasty stuff and get rid of it. Because everybody's assigned to cleaning, if I remember correctly. Yes. It's our number one priority. We're gonna need a lot more wood. And I remember there's the Valley of Death right here. These are all wargs and wolves. And like every predator on Earth is down here. We're gonna have to deal with that. More gold there. Is that gold? Yeah, okay. I think it's the same stash I found a couple episodes ago. Either way, let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to take out those predators before they start getting hungry and eating everything on the map. Terrible place for them to stick them here for a minute. Okay, clone one, equip, oops, France, equip, clone, equip,
He's already got a weapon. And Mac gets the PKM. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to undraft all these guys and let them just kind of do their thing for a minute, and then I'm going to redraft them. And we should be gold. Where are you guys going? Okay, he's going to cook, I hope. I hope he's not going to eat that chunk of meat. You never can tell with these colonists. They're crazy sometimes. Okay, everybody's well fed. Where is that valley? It's all the way over here. Raiders we shot like running away, leaving these trails pretty confident that's where those came from. Okay, guys. guys can not shoot each other. Okay, keep advancing. We're going to finish off all these damn things. They're shooting each other, aren't they? Alright, I have to undraft Mac and send him back. I have to undraft him and send him back, and what it is, it's these guys taking shots as well. We're gonna need another medical bed. Let's see if we can get one of those built. Ah, here we go. Let's just assign this one medical. It's freezing in there, isn't it? 21 degrees, yeah. 59. I wonder how much of this hallway this will heat if I, well. Oh, we're so close to having that, that smoke leaf will save us, it really will. So we'll let the injured clones go back. I really need to micromanage these guys during combat a little better. Because they really just love shooting each other. I've noticed. sitting here in disgust thinking about all the times that my clones have shot each other. I would try and tame these things if I had a more steady food supply. I'd love to become a farmer start getting some farms going, but we need to get past uh, basic survival first. Okay, so, make that viable, we'll have him shoot that warg, we'll have him shoot that warg, unforbid that, and that, and 
that. One more. Go up there. The rest of you, on draft. I recommend you prioritize that because you're here. And you should probably do the same thing. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I feel much better. I think there's still another animal out there. another one out here somewhere. Parsnip, come grab this. And I thought for sure there was another predator out here. Did he just cut and run? Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Okay, so other than the gunshot wounds, everybody's okay. And because those are gunshot wounds, I'm gonna open up the best medicine possible. Possible. And once Franz arrives, he's gonna take care of these guys. Oh man, mm. it's a dark young. These are terrible Cthulian monsters made up of tentacles, eyes, and slime. Uh, just looking at them causes your characters to go a little nuts, and it's going to eat everything. There's really no natural animal that can take this thing on. It's already hungry. Um, we're going to have to take it out. It's going to be another combat mission for the soldiers. How sad. And then we had some cargo pods land. Let's see what those hold for us. Uh, Palentia. I don't even know what that is. I should look it up. I've probably eaten it. Don't even know it. Okay, so, Mac, 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 you should probably rest until healed, and Franz will deal with the medics. Go clean the blood. Go clean that up. <laughs> okay, it's not an illness. He's just bleeding real bad. Okay. Franz, what are you doing? He still needs help. Feed him. Okay, so things are starting to get a little bit, uh, yeah. All my fault, because I let these guys shoot each other. I really need to uh, micromanage the combats a lot better than I have been. Crikey. All right, so let's see now. We'll let these guys get back to the regular routine for now. I'm not going to deal with that dark young just yet. We'll go figure that out later. I am going to clear these home areas, redo that. Here, here, here. I'm not sure if they're getting that blood spot or not, so I'm just going to... I want them to clean up this blood because the people come and go here a lot. When they see that blood, it demoralizes them. So we're going to try and clean some of it up. These guys are supposed to have cleaning as a number one priority, but they're not doing a very good job of it.
Franz is sleeping. I don't blame him. These guys really don't like seeing this body. Mac, I need you to step up. Make some more meds. Get that body out of there. It's pissing people off. How much good medicine do we have? Down to 46. Once Franz eats, I'm going to have him have a look at the clone here. Max, all better. He's already having a look at the clone. Splendid. I never got around chopping down trees, but that's alright. There's still wood laying around. Animal starvation, or rabbit. I gave him a huge area to go eat in, but I guess we just don't have enough food. Sorry, rabbit. Parsnip, come and get this plant, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. We're holding it together, but it's definitely going to start going south real soon. Oh, this stuff is ready. Okay, so what we need to do is... New policy. Drug policy 5. Everything's banned. Close that. They're going to have to change this menu size. Let that be a bug glitch. <laughs> that made no sense. I'm not going to say anything. Okay, so I'm just cutting off stuff. I don't think anybody's addicted to anything, and I want to try and keep them that way. So we go down here, we look for our smoke leaf. Every day, if their mood falls below 30%, and if their joy falls below, which of this will be all the time. So let's set it low, 25%. Perfect. Now, everybody adopts drug policy 5. It sounds so official and high-tech. Ta-da! Alright. That means if they get completely deprived of joy, they will smoke the weed. Now, they're not going to have anything to smoke unless I do this and grab a crafting spot because I deleted my old one. Crafting spot. Yeah, it'll do good here. Build a chair. And they're off. I have no idea how this fertilizer works. It hasn't fully matured yet. I'm assuming it'll make plants grow a little faster, but, you know, there's a lot of s specifics to that. So how much faster, you know, all that. Okay, we're starting to run out of food. Down to 70 meals. Eight guys. What is that? That best 10, di 10 days worth? So, that could be a problem. We hauled back all the animals. We do have a butcher table, right? Okay, let me check its bills, make sure, it, yeah. We should be okay, none of these should spoil. Yeah, it's cold as shit in the house, so yeah. Let's expand this zone one more space because we can. There we go. That won't help much, but hey, every little bit counts. Okay, so 
so, 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 so. What next? I'm going to reinstall this over here. That way we have a nice warm medical room. We go to the crafting spot. Set the bills. Uh, do forever. And we're going to have to expand this farm. It's not going to... It's not going to meet our needs as it is right now. I might move this over to here and change this into a second farm. Move that. Yep, 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 yep. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to take out that wall, this wall, this wall, all of these walls, that door, that, that. We'll have to move the medical ward, of course, but that's fine. I can reinstall these. Awesome. Never can tell. Some of the stuff has to be deconstructed permanently. Some of it can be moved. There we go. I think I'm going to leave these batteries in their own enclosure. Hoping, hoping it'll uh, somewhat arrest fire expansion if there's a fire. Alright. Again, I don't know if my chat's working or not. I really don't. Uh, here, I'm going to interrupt the stream for just a second here and try and refresh this and see what the hell. Twitch is being really twitchy for me these last couple of weeks. I think it has something to do with my system being overloaded with memory. I need to change my system around quite a bit. Okay, well, let's run the advertisement again. If there's anybody chatting, I can't see chats so far. But keep trying. I just refreshed it. Maybe it'll help. And let's get back to the game. Damn Twitch. I would also like to intensify our defenses a little bit. And make it a little more difficult for the enemy to reach us. You can shoot through corners, as in, if I put a brick uh, over here, I can shoot through this narrow corner area, which I think is kind of cool. That definitely helps with making fortifications. And I'm thinking the best way to use that to shoot incoming attackers. Because the field of fire is very narrow when you do that, so, yeah. This, I'm going to finish that off. Let's do that. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm just finishing off my cheap, easy made chunk barrier. Slows down the enemy, doesn't cost me a thing. Okay, let's speed this up for the night. It's five degrees, everybody's freezing, people are going to be pissed off. I suppose it's probably time to deal with that. And that we are going to install a heater. Where shall we install it? Centralized, somewhere right around here, I'm thinking. So let's do this. Deconstruct that. Wait a minute. Temperature control would be good for the storage area. And then I could move animal bodies down in here too.
just thinking of power drain, because I don't have a huge power infrastructure just yet. Nor do we have a lot of materials. I am out of wood again, I notice. Let me think here for a sec. I could install a cooler here, and that would heat this room. I could maybe make an opening here, and that would heat this room. It's just, I'm not going to really get a lot out of it. In other words, I don't really need to heat this area. And I don't think, even if I channel the temperature, I don't think it's going to make it as far as here. And because of the cold environment, it's not like we really have to worry about food spoilage over time. It's always freezing. Um, yeah, these are the choices room world makes you make. You gotta think, based on your environment and everything else. That's why I like this game. I do, I do, I do. Uh, 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 we need a lot more wood. Let me at least get that out of the way for now, and then I'll come back to that little quandary. Okay, I'm kind of hitting this place hard because I've got a lot of uh, a lot of wood construction that needs to be finished, and I plan on queuing up a lot more. Mm. And visitors coming in, cargo pods are always welcome. Oh, that is really awesome. Franz, get that crap. I don't know if he can carry it all, Max, so you might want to uh, go help him. want to make sure that stuff gets back here. Okay, now back to the heat problem. I definitely know I'm going to put a heater right around here, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. First, we would want to deconstruct this. Come back into here, construct one here, 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 and here. Then we're going to put our heater here. So we're going to need wire. Power. I try not to run wires through the walls. Oh, hey, there's a wire. Where the hell does that wire go? Okay, there is no wire. I was hallucinating a wire. Deconstruct that wire. And then we shall build another. It looks like they can go through walls, yeah. can't they? Don't care. I'm just going to run this all the way to the end because I do plan on giving these guys lights or something in their rooms that's kind of pretty. I could probably make flower pots. Franz, by the way, is our negotiator. Let's have him trade with this guy. We have a bunch of old nasty clothes that we can probably get rid of. Make a few bucks. Of course, Franz is 800 miles away and probably was carrying antibiotics and I interrupted him. But I don't care. Okay, what are we getting? Oh, we have one of those. Wow. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this and this. Keep that. Uh, it's in poor condition, but it's at 95%. I'm going to keep that. No, I'm not. Normal, 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 normal. These guys have some good stuff. Get rid of that. 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 medicine you got.
we'll lose money a little bit on this deal, but actually, there we go. That'll pad it a little bit. Selling them to us for 50 bucks and buying them for 14. Robbery, I tell you. Okay, now, I gotta take all the Glitter World medicine. Forbid that, and only use that in the most dire circumstances. We have nobody assigned to crafting work. Let's see, Parsnip, are you any good at that kind of stuff? He's pretty damn good, isn't he? Okay, I'm gonna take him off plant cutting, smithing, tailoring, art. We'll just leave him... Actually, you know what? I like him on smithing. Craft weapons and tools. No, we don't want that. We will eventually build a tailor desk here soon. And pry an artist bench. But we don't have, a, don't have any right now. Okay. What is Parson doing right now, by the way? Making joints. Okay. Good. As well he should. Okay, so we got these. We didn't get these. Flax. Awesome. Go get that stuff, guys. There's so many... Oh, the dark young. Fu we gotta deal with that thing. Everybody's armed right now. Anyway, go. I'm a little more confident leaving the unit armed because we have smoke leaf, which will keep people a little bit more calm. And I'm not sure I have my more breaks mod, so these guys might just have the standard Berserker Fury and stuff. I used to have a mod where they would throw tantrums and you know, go cut themselves if they were depressed and that kind of stuff. Expanded reaction, so it wasn't always just everybody dies. Okay, this Dark Young is going to come after us with a vengeance once we start shooting. Let's see if we can get behind some terrain where we won't shoot each other. This thing's tough. It's tough. Get in, boys. <laughs> Take him out. Oh, come on. He's two feet away. And he's the size of a house. Come on. Even unconscious, he's got a lot of hit points. Sorry, Karen. Really? <laughs> the battle with the unconscious monster was more epic than the battle with the living monster. died. I gave him a huge area to wander. He couldn't find his own food. That's probably not a good sign for our future. I wonder if the other animals are dying of starvation, because if so, we should be aware of that and pick them up as they do so. Information tab, they should probably change that too a little bit to give them a little bit more, I don't know, relevant information.
Everybody likes the Plentia. It's good. The atmospheric re-entry heat gave it a particular flavor. Mac? Franz, sorry. We need you to go talk to this guy. I think we already traded with these guys, but we'll double check. We have a lot of simple meals. That's good. Good for us. Um, yes, these are the guys that we traded with, so I'm dumb. Pay no heed. Okay, in case something goes awry, I'm going to save this. I have to remember Rambo goods. And... Back to the game. Okay, so... What were we doing? Breaking this down so that we can install another light. And expand the farm. There's a floor there? Strange. Okay. Wait a minute. What? 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 Oh, okay. So we're in the Arctic Desert. <laughs> so we're in the Arctic Desert and some camels have wandered along to join us. Only in Rimworld. Okay. Camels? Go check out Animal Area 1. Actually, no, you're unrestricted. You come into the base and start eating food, we're going to have to turn you into food. Yes, the animals will come right into your base, right down to your food area, and start chomping on your food if you have something they like. Oh, it's, going, it's all going wrong now. Angry beavers? These guys will eat everything on the map. Never a moment's rest. They're generally not aggressive, so I'll usually get the first couple of attacks on them, but watch, they just destroy the forests. Ah, stop it! And we need every little bit of wood we can get. So I'm going to line these guys up, and hopefully this should be a beaver slaughter. If we trigger a beaver revenge, which basically means that the animal of that particular species goes berserk, this could go all wrong really fast. Uh, Mac, why don't you get a little closer to everybody else so you don't get shot. Shoot that beaver. Sorry. Um, I, mm, I don't have the means to take care of animals yet. Can you guys hit anything? I was bragging about how they're like able to do combat, and they can't seem to do combat. Let's just sit here for a moment and watch them, shall we? It's terrible. I think they just do that to increase guilt complex. Yeah, just... Destroy them all. Let's reposition. Like I said, I have to micromanage these battles, otherwise they're going to start shooting each other more. This line formation probably isn't the best. I should probably do an L. Get that guy before he flanks up too much, otherwise I will have to form an L. Got him. Last one. Take him out, boys. 
Awesome. There's one over here. Take him out. No survivors. Come on, kill the damn thing. They're terrible at hitting downed opponents. What is up with this? Okay, so that is a lot of meat for the tribe. Undraft these guys. I feel bad that I take out the camels, but it's just that's the way it's got to be. Okay, guys, while you're here, why don't you all haul a beaver back? Officer, you don't get out of doing this. You grab a beaver, too. All right. Hopefully we'll haul the rest of them out of there. We managed to end that pretty quick, but you notice they already stripped down all the plants there. Damn it. All right, he's harvestable. No, of course not. Anything? Oh, food. I did hit the harvest button, right? Okay. This is so far. No, actually, it's not very far. Yeah, go harvest that food. Get everything you can off them bushes. Okay, that's a lot of meat. Who's our cook again? I forgot. I think it's... Yeah, Mac. Who's going to have the major break? Pause it. This is the guy. Yeah. Okay, so we need to get him happy. Have a smoke, buddy. You share that with somebody. It's, that's a lot of smoke for one person. Whole joint. Damn. Unless it was a pinter. Okay, so these guys are proceeding very slowly. I think it's because I have them doing a lot of jobs at the moment. So I really just need to chill out. And this is my problem in uh, RimWorld. I micromanage so much that uh, nobody gets anything done. So I just need to let him do it. Okay, I think that's the guy who's high, and his mood still sucks. But it's on the rise. He'll be okay. He'll sleep it off. In the morning, he should be fine. Oh, yeah. I think it's time for this now. I can't see. Which way is it facing? I'm going to hope that's the right direction. I'm going to install it there and fix it later if I have to. A solar flare. That depowers all electrical equipment. That's not good. Maybe we're protected? The sun's not up right now. As soon as the sun comes up, we're in big trouble, but thankfully we got this stuff harvested. Up oh, and some cargo pods just literally dropped on our head almost. Where did those things go? I saw them fly overhead. Ah, oh, here they are. Tea. 65 cups of tea. I 
really can't change his mood. I'm just gonna have to wait till morning and see what we can do for him. Did I install that backwards or I can't tell. Summit Mac? Haul that crap out of there so I can see what's going on. I don't know if this is stalled backwards or not. Doesn't matter. It's the temperature these days. Well we gotta let it stabilize. And let's bring it. We're just going to leave it as is for now. See how warm it starts getting in these rooms. It's in the 40s. It's the low end of tolerable. Our storage area is completely filled up. So what we should do is this. Deconstruct that. And then we can expand out. Oh, wait a minute. That's supposed to be the prison. Gersher Gerber. Alright. Bed. Here. Here. And that's going to be the prison room. And actually, we're going to actually be nice to the prisoners. We're going to try to impress many of them. Because a viewer gave me the advice that you can impress tribals pretty easy. So that's what we're going to work for. We're going to make like a very luxurious holding cell. Mac's just going to keep right on cooking. I'm going to change that to three and that to two. Kind of slow him down on the cooking there a little bit. And some raiders. Something otherworldly. Oh no. Me goes. Another... Lovecraftian horrible thing. Uh, the Migos are a starfaring race. Intelligent. They're not just dumb creatures. They're actually smart. They shouldn't have any gear on them. Man, oh, that is just not very good at all. Uh, what's all this then? Megasol. We still haven't gone out to pick up that flax because it's a long ways away. All right, so you know what? I think I'm going to save that for the next episode because we're getting right up on the hour mark anyway. So I think that's what's going to happen next episode. Next episode, the squad is going to have to take on the Lovecraftian horrors that are headed our way. And then we're going to stabilize our temperature and we're doing actually okay inside the colony. Uh, we'll be able to expand our farms, and this is ready to go as well, so we'll be able to do some experiments. I'm going to try and turn this into a tree farm, uh, using artificial light and a roof, so that way I have temperature control, and we'll see if that's even possible in this game. Uh, I think it is, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can grow trees with a roof, but who knows. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. And that is what's going to be on next episode. So, I'm going to go ahead and save this up. And say, as I always do, at the end of every episode, until next time, this is Perpendeth Extraordinaire. Loving y'all.